reason Dream Chaser is here, we're simulating the environment that it's going to see during its launch. So what we're doing here is a vibration test. That's really the launch portion while the, while the vehicle's still in Earth's atmosphere. That's where the highest vibration levels come from, from the launch of the rocket itself. We're also doing um, separation shock tests. So when the two vehicles separate from each other, there's an event, uh, a shock event. And so that's what separates the Dream Chaser from the cargo module. We did that test previously. We're in the vibration test right now, and we'll do the second shock test at the end of the vibration test. This will flesh out any of the uh, environmental conditions that the vehicle maybe hasn't seen yet, but this is the first system level vibration test that it'll see and the only one that it'll see. So we've learned a ton about our vibration table in particular. Um, we did a whole Pathfinder series uh, with a different test article that was just a mass simulator of the Dream Chaser. We're now much more confident in our ability to perform these types of tests. By doing all those Pathfinders and learning all the things that we did about our system, we are much more confident now that, we've been, that we're going to be able to get through all of this. But according to Sierra Space, uh, it's named Tenacity because uh, it takes a lot of tenacity to get, for them to get to this point. So they've, they've been designing this vehicle and working on it for years. Uh, in fact, we've been working them, with them for years for the planning of this test, um, this test campaign. So uh, Tenacity is a, a, a good name for it just because it's taken a lot of tenacity to get to this point.